I found something. Callum's Corner eats penises for a day, which, if I mean, if the title, if that wasn't bad enough, you should see the thumbnail. I look like a retarded version of Will Any. Use some kind of filter to make my head into an actual square. My eyes all goggle-eyed, like nipples in a bad boo job or something. Uh, it's by someone called Pot Old Pasta. Um, yeah, we're gonna watch it. There you go. And welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, I've got a very special video for you. It's a challenge. I'm gonna spend the next 24, 24, 24, 24, 24 hours surviving on penises only. Oh, you can't uh, every single thing that I then will be precious. Every single thing that I drink will be penises. Literally nothing will pass these lips in the next 24 there hours. Isn't it's penis. not Go on, do it. Gay. Now, reasons for me doing this video are twofold. Reason number Let me one, guess, I love penises. Guess, I literally want to see penises. Uh, reason number two, 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 it's Eddie. I'm literally fed up of the You had to go even dirtier, didn't you? Didn't you? Eddie, 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 it's got to stop. It's a very real case of Eddie theft. Uh, so hopefully this video will highlight exactly what's going on. Right. Uh, 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 um, it's nine o'clock now and I haven't had breakfast. Oh, Obviously I'm hungry. <laughs> Bruh. Hold your fast away now. Bruh. Sorry, Bruh. was a boring you. Upon arrival at Marks and Spencer's, I quickly located the cafe due to a... Just a blog eating a sandwich. I got myself a cheese and ham toasty and a frothy coffee. Right, I'm back from my fapping off trip. It's and a I'm just showing up into a sandwich. A weird weird about sex. I am laden with penises. Uh, 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 I am starting to get peckish for Eddie already. Oh, God's um, sake. Now, for my lunch, I'm going to be partaking in a willing cheese. Spicy was the cheesy penis oh, with your dirty mind. Salad. You missed a drink I mean, Basically, there. it's a salad with some great willy oh, cheese on it. Because of the middle class, class willy with cheese on it. They've had to exaggerate it. Not really lovely. Like it's his own unique thing. Don't mean that. Hey, 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 hey. Now, other pressing business before I have lunch. I have not taken care of my morning business yet. Fapping off. I'm going to be coddling my... Fapping off is not my morning God, business. their anus is getting... Treated better than my mouth, I think. Talking about a good day in everyday life, right? To go with poo. Okay, well, just well, I'm going to go crack penises and, you know, break the seal, press it, use it. It can easily become a habit. Callum Touch Brew. Brilliant. Callum Touch Brew, that's original. Isn't it, Callum Touch I mean, I don't, just in case anyone doesn't know that this is a joke, obviously I don't. Just. Cheap, you know. Oh, a little bit of meat dancing at the end. The salad he ate contained the HIV. This is played at his funeral. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it oh no. Pray for Tic Tac Nods. Hashtag. God, I watched that last bit. Who was that? Potter Pasta. I mean, well done. You've managed to get more penis into a YTP than anyone previously has. Um, a chocker block with cock, basically. I guess that's some kind of achievement in this twisted world that you guys seem to live in. Um, obviously that's all fake, I don't like penis, I don't touch kids. Let's have a look what we can find. Okay, we found something that I definitely want to take a look at. Uh, the title of it alone has revolted me to my very core. It's called Callum's Corner Smashes Jeremy Corbyn's dead body. Jeremy Corbyn, for your reference, was the name of my guinea pig who died barely three weeks ago. So way too soon to be making that kind of joke. You know, and the, it, Callum Scholar smashes Jeremy Corbyn's dead body, goes on Got Talent and gets naughty at the best. I mean, that sounds like Jimmy Savile's wet dream or something, that title. I mean, I'm trying to not sit here and prejudge it too harshly because it's been made by a guy called Potter Pasta, who, again, I know from the streams and previous meme reviews and seems like a decent-ish guy. Um, but I'm, I'm very, very worried going into this one. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on What's how going on here, then? And let your hand drift across the canvas. I'm confused. It's not nice. Touching the wall so no one can get behind me. But I'll just jab him with his arm back and forth as hard as I bloody can. Right. Squirrels in there. It's my Jordan, that's that. Oh wow, I to, maybe I did prejudge this. Like, I didn't like that the R word just thrown in there casually, but uh, that me popping up on this screen like a masterpiece, yeah, decent. And then me coming onto Britain's Got Talent with my actual Jordans. And there, Amanda Holden, she's like gaping mouth. Yeah, all right, Amanda. You know, she obviously wants something. They've enticed her. Okay, I think I may have prejudged this too harshly. This is really good so far. Oh, 
I'm thinking of the dance. I'm going to dance. Hey, Hello, Miss Miss Corner. Um, what is it you're going to be doing for us today? Rape. Good luck. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. One of the worst groups I've ever heard in my life. Ah, it's disgusting. Hey, up, well, yeah. And welcome to Callum Anal Corner. So, it was my sister's brunch today. Bit of a wasted day, to be honest with you. Went off to rape Jeremy Corbyn. But he was. Oh, God, God, that is disgusting. That is disgusting. You did go there. You got me all excited at the beginning with the good editing with my J's and stuff. Now you've gone filthy, filthy. You had me doing that to Eddie, and now we're talking about my dead guinea pig in sexual terms. Take a look in the mirror. Take a look at yourself. Even better. So I woke up this morning. Uh, seemed like a normal day. I got up about quarter to seven. Came downstairs. Put the coffee on. Um, got the spunk together to go rape for the guinea pigs. My little oh. golden, gorgeous guinea pig. No. Just lying there motionless, coming enormously super excited, wicking and jumping all over the shop. The cold and dark grave I had to dig. Oh, uh, no, 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 I will not watch that film. That is revolting. You've got my poor deceased guinea pig's head superimposed onto my nephew, dancing him around. He's too soon for that film. That is revolting. I refuse to be subjected to any more of this. Just perversion. Pot of pervert, it should be your name. No, that's it. That's the mean review, doll. I'm not watching. Okay, I think uh, we should take our newly gained good mood, thanks to Rogue Memes' excellent work, um, and use it to uh, to watch something potentially horrible. Um, it's from Potter Pasta, whose last meme in the last meme review was just a straight out disgrace, basically. Uh, so this is kind of potentially is going to be filthy. Uh, it's called Callum's Corner ends Martin Luther King uh, and eats Jeremy Corbyn alive. Jeremy Corbyn is my poor deceased guinea pig, um, to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here. So, yeah, I think we better strap ourselves in for this one. Callum Adams here from Callum's Corner. I'm here to talk to you about Martin Luther King. I want to shoot you. Wish, wish, choo, choo, choo. Whoa, I'm an alpha male. I'm a big, strong alpha male. I shoot black in a. Now, I'm going to pause that there. I, I just want to make it clear that was not me saying a racist word, but it kind of was. But I was reading a name from a donation on a live stream, Nick, and I had a nasty surname that made it sound like I was using a racial slur there. That is filth. Uh, I got tricked into on stream. I would never fall for that now. But unfortunately, he's a filthy little me monkey. He's up. I've clipped it and now it's been using this stuff. I did not say that. Direct from our newsroom in Washington, in color, this is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Police have issued an all points bulletin for a well dressed young white man seen running from the scene. Oh, for goodness sake, that's me at Fee Park. Right, today, by popular demand, demand um, I am going to complete the living on, on, living, living on, so for a day challenge. Oh, uh, I think it should be interesting, quite educational, because there are literally thousands of people in this country living on so every day. Yeah. Uh, they're often vulnerable people, people, vulnerable, you know, I work as a caregiver and I see them every day. Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. I am a pedo. I want to have sex with little kids. I like kids. They make me feel good in the pants. Ah, oh, it's more straight trickery. Hey, oh, boy. And welcome to Corner Callum's. Right, today I am going to teach you a technique for eating Jeremy Corbyn. Oh. Like my poor deceased guinea pig dancing around. Such a lovely song he was. Should be showing me a Cooking with so was. Cooking with carom. So was. What are you gonna need? Hey up, welcome to Callum's Corner. Where's the dice here now? What are you going to need? Number one. So was. Number two. Who? <laughs> number three. Eddie. Number four. Spunk. And number five. Jeremy Corbyn. 
Oh, are you right? Like seven, seven years old. For those of you that know how to chop. So you want to chop oh, the end off like that. That's disgusting. Whether this is being picked up or not, but yeah, let's chop the end off. And then you want to make little lines going right into it like this. Yeah. So next you want to lightly fry. Jeremy Corbyn. So we're using a little bit of oil. Ah, uh, that, that was disgusting. Yet again, you've massively crossed the line there. Like, now you've taken the very real and tragic death of a beloved family pet and smeared it in with a longer, like, literal school child humour, spunk and poo and stuff. That's disgusting. How old are you? So immature. You probably, probably pissed your pants like a little school girl while you were editing it. That pot of pasta, that should be your name. Piss your pants. Idiot. Did it all. Gay up! And welcome to Callum's Corner. Welcome to a very special video. A very special day, <laughs> in fact, for my nephew Eddie. Uh, today I'm raping Eddie, and he's almost three years old, and I've decided to lose my virginity to Eddie. Any sex he wants today, Eddie is in charge. Now, if you're wondering why I'm making today such a wonderful day for him, there's two reasons. Number one, scientific reasons. You know, it's an interesting experiment. Raping almost three-year-old boy. If they're in charge, oh, just what would disgusting. happen? That's disgusting. Right, the excitement in the air is palpable. I've just been reiterating to Reddy exactly what's happening. So, anything you want, anything you want. Have you got any ideas what you might like to get? Chocolate. Anal. You know, that's a must, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. you're Anal. sick. Uh, what about sex toys and stuff? Like, any ideas? Do you like might want to get? Chocolate. Just anal. But at the moment, like, right, let's get to the shops. What do you want to eat? Get some oh. Eddie. Vegan food or? Vegan food. You want vegan food? Yeah. Bam. Bro, hold your fast oh, boy. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was about to you. Even if it was a vegan. Callum Tottenham. Callum Tottenham. That's original. Who was that? Potter pasta. I mean, well done. You've managed to get more penis into a YTP than anyone previously has. Hey, off. Let me hear you say yeah. Oh, that was that was disgusting. Wasn't it so much a bloody Eddie in there? And again, just so much bloody penis. It's like I'm being assaulted by cock at the moment. Jesus Christ. I mean, Potter Pasta channel name. You should rename your channel Potter Penis. That's what it is at this point, isn't it? I found something that I definitely want to watch. Um, it's kind of a familiar face returning. I guess an old, well, not an old friend. An old penis would be slightly more accurate way of describing it. A Potter Penis. Um, it's Potter Pasta. Basically, he has made a comeback with a video called Callum's Corner Goes to Bosnia. I mean, obviously, he's got an extensive history of filth, so we definitely want to watch this one. Hey, and welcome to Callum's Corner, right? I am in, in, in Lodl. Hey, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Huh? I have lost my TV. So, I am going to listen to the radio of Hey yo, and welcome to Callum's radio chat. The first question of it. The date is, what is the best way? One TP? Hmm. Yes! I have an idea. Uh, this is exactly what I was talking about. The previous meme was old school, whereas this one uh, has got all those special effects I was talking about, me moving around and stuff. It's, it's quite baffling. And again, special effects. Hey up, Callum. Hey up, and welcome. The best way. One TP is Callum's Corner gets who? The mail. Two. Eddie. So he's had some boom boom with him. Then break. So one TP. I'd also like to announce a Callum's Corner radio competition giveaway, not something that I've done before. And I've gone back and forth on what I should give away. Yeah, um, badges or kind of badges, like a badges, PlayStation game or something. But I've decided to give you the gift of pick best to boss. The so the second person to cool get pick best to boss. The how, how have you even got the idea to make it that I'm going to Bosnia? I've never even said the word Bosnia. You've had to 
splice like three separate bits together to get me to say the word Bosnia. Where does that come from, Paul? Why is that residing in your head? Oh, Bosnia, let's send Callum there. I don't understand where you get the inspiration, the ideas for this. The second person to call get it to boss me. Hey, you. Hey, you. Sips. I'm sorry. Sips. But you are the first person to call. Sad. Hey, you. Callum. Hey, you. Callum. You are the second person. I don't. Not sure I like the insinuation here. I've cheated on the competition, given myself a flight. I'd never cheat on a competition. Outrageous. Yes! The first song of the date is way poo! You poo! Don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let curry into your heart. Then you can start to make it better. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Hey, hey, you. I, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I believe that that is Sips, one of the former overseers of my Discord, singing Hey Poo, but where have you got him to do that? Is he on Cameo or Fiverr or something? I don't think he would be. I'm so confused by all of this. There's Eddie. That's his. It's baffling. Don't, don't be, be afraid. afraid. You were meant to go out and get going. Oh my god! You enter into your house and you begin to make it better. Any time you feel the pain, a repu refrain, don't carry. To Callum's Corner, right? I am in Boss. Basically five minutes of filthy meme and you've shown me that at the end of there. End of part one. Are you joking? These, these are not epics. These don't need to have three parts of them. They don't need to be continued. That was more than enough filth. That, I don't like that end of part one. That's very confronting. I didn't like any of that, to be honest with you. It was very, very hectic. At one point there was hey poo, alawak bar, everything was going in stereo sound through my earphones. It was quite overwhelming. I mean, obviously, it should go without saying, but none of the insinuations in that are true. I would never murder people or steal tickets from a giveaway from them or anything. And yeah, that was quite hard to take in. Very busy, an awful lot going on and an awful, awful lot of filth.